What is going on Warriors of Tamaris? I am back again with another video. Today I'm gonna show you guys 9 different talent trees for Bakshi in Call of Dragons. Bakshi has been added in the gold chest and everybody can get him right now. Make sure that you subscribe for more content, turn on the bell notification and never miss out. Let's get the video started. Alright Warriors of Tamaris, Bakshi is in the building. The game developers have decided to add this awesome hero in the gold chest. Now everybody can unlock this hero without breaking a sweat. Bakshi is gonna be excellent when you pair him up with Emrys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 9 different talent trees that you can use with this hero. If you are still new to the game, I'm gonna give you one good recommendation that you can use right away. Let us begin the video by doing an overview of Bakshi to see what really makes him so good in the open field. Bakshi has the Cavalry, Peacekeeping and the Skills Talent Tree branch. You can use him with Cavalry troops and the Skills Talent Tree is just too good. We're gonna start off with the Rage skill. Now Bakshi can do a Rage skill damage factor of 1400 and he gets a HP bonus of 20% for 5 seconds. This is significant. The second skill for Bakshi is gonna make it so that you do 30% to dark links and dark creatures, which is amazing. This skill is not going to work on Behemoth just to keep that in mind. The third skill, all cavalry unit in Bakshi's legion gains 10% HP and 20% physical attack. Now Bakshi is gonna give you Emrys the defense that he is missing. Skill number four is a very tricky skill that gives you a bunch of different stuff. You either get attack and defense bonus for 30%, you get a rage accumulation speed bonus of 30%, you get a healing factor of 200%. You're gonna get one of these benefits every 10 seconds, it's going to last for 5 seconds. You don't know which one you're gonna get, it's gonna pop up random. It could be the rage accumulation, it could be the attack and defense, it could be the healing factor. Excellent hero! Now when we check out the awakening skills, Bakshi can now do a rage skill damage of 1500 and increases HP by 30% for 5 seconds. The rage skill is going to amplify, I mean the awakening skill is going to amplify the rage skill and take it to the next level. Bakshi is just gonna be crazy. With that out of the way, let us check out some awesome pairings for Bakshi in Call of Dragons. Bakshi is finally in the gold chest. The best pairing is gonna be Bakshi primary and Emery secondary. Every single player in this game can get this march. If you wanna destroy someone in a 1 vs 1 situation, go Bakshi primary, Emery secondary, the damage output is going to be insane. Now Bakshi and Emery are the best pairing for destroying cities and rolling passes. I feel like the game developers need to change the wheel spin for Kinara and Madeline. Maybe bring Madeline first and then Kinara second. Because right now Bakshi and Emrys are going to destroy so many cities when Madeline is not yet in the game. But that's gonna be another video for another day. To keep it pushing, the second best pairing for cavalry is gonna be Bakshi primary and then we have Alistair as a secondary. This is gonna be a very tanky cavalry march. Alistair can do damage to three targets. He can bring some defense and he also has a good rage accumulation. If you don't have Emrys, you can go Bakshi Primary, Alistair Secondary. Another good pairing is gonna be Bakshi Primary and then Iliana Secondary. Iliana, you can get him by doing the rallies, push him to 5, 5, 5, 5, awaken her. And then you can put her behind Bakshi for some damage. You can also go Bakshi Primary and then Nika Secondary if you wanna rally Darkling Fortresses. You're gonna get like 60% peacekeeping damage bonus, which is going to be insane. This is gonna be some cool stuff. All those who spend money in the game can go Bakshi primary and then have Husk. You can also go Bakshi primary, put Indies behind. You can also try Bakshi and Madeline just to try different things to test out. What's the other pairing that you can use? You can use any overall hero behind Bakshi. That's it. Oh, one more pairing. You can also use Thea with Bakshi. Now, if you're in the Spring Warden faction, you can use the Eagles with Bakshi. Now, when you use the Eagles, you're gonna get this benefit right here. You get attack bonus of 10% and you get another March Speed bonus of 20%. I don't think anyone is gonna catch you if you try to run away. 
All right, warriors of Tamaris, let us check out some cool artifacts that you can use for your Bakshi in Call of Dragons. Now, I personally, I don't have the King Slayer. Where can I find the King Slayer? Let's go over here. We hit the tavern, we go to the probability, and the King Slayer is going to be somewhere here. This is hands down the best artifact for any cavalry troop type in the game. If you happen to get it, congratulations, you made it. I have been playing this game for 200, I mean, for 250 days right now. And I haven't got this artifact yet. I don't want to spend money to get it from the artifact forge event or whatever. Let's keep it going, guys. Next best artifact for cavalry. You're going to have something like the Solan's Blade. This is going to give you a mix of march speed and attack. It is excellent if you want a different style of fighting with your cavalry. And then let's check out the interesting artifact for the cavalry troop type. We have the Storm Arrow. This arrow is going to let you blink into a different location as shown over here. You can use this with tactical fights in the game. It's a very good one. It gives you cavalry unit attack, which is excellent for the open field. The next artifact is going to be known as the Wolf Woman of Halo. This is a slight variation of the blink artifact, the one I just talked about. With this one, you go to a certain location. Once you're done with the 15 seconds, it brings you back. Excellent for destroying people in barricades. If you want tactical fights with your artifact, this is something to pick. On top of that, it gives you cavalry unit HP, which is going to make your Bakshi stronger in defense. And for all the free-to-play players who don't have money in their pockets, you have other options as well. If you cannot get one of the good ones, you can go with the Centaur Bow. I don't know if I pronounced that correct. This is a good artifact to use for your cavalry. Deals damage to up to three enemy legions in a designated circle. That's excellent. Damage factor, 1,500. You're going to get some cavalry unit defense, which is going to be quite helpful in the open field, especially in defense. What else do we have for the cavalry? Now, if you're like broke, 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 broke F2P, you can go with the bone cleaver. Here is a good artifact. Can give you 800 damage factor. You get a cavalry unit attack and some legion defense. It's a good mix of statistics. This is awesome. And these are the artifacts that you can use for your cavalry. You also have the crown of the berserker. If you want to use it, it's going to be up to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us check out some awesome talent trees for Bakshi in Call of Dragons. First of all, which talent tree path should you take? Should you go full cavalry or should you go full skills? Now here is how you should choose the best talent tree that you want to use. First of all, you want to stay away from the peacekeeping, you're just wasting your time. Unless you want some extra reward in a server that does not have any war, then you can go with the peacekeeping. Otherwise, either go full cavalry and then full skills. Here is how you should choose which direction you want to go. If you want to do a lot of damage to your enemies in the open field, you're going to go full skills and then half cavalry. Now, if you want to use different tactical fights with your enemies, you're going to go full cavalry and then have skills. Let us check out some of the awesome talent trees that you can use for Bakshi and Emrys in Call of Dragons. Talent tree number one. It's going to be called Skills 1. This is the talent tree you should use if you don't know where to begin. I recommend this talent tree to all the free-to-play players, all the pay-to-win, pretty much everybody in the game. If you want a good talent tree for your Bakshi, this is the right place to start. Now let's see what makes this talent tree so good for you in the open field. Zoom it down a little bit and then go over the points one by one. We start off with the bottom, you get the attack, you get the march speed, which is needed for Bakshi. You get the overall health. And then over here you have this mighty power talent, which is going to make your hero do 2% more hero skill damage and also get a 10% chance to gain 20 extra rage. Now this skill usually goes with the skills that's on the right hand side. So right now we're going to go on to the left hand side to see what we're going to pick for the cavalry talent tree. You're going to start off with the march speed. This is going to give you 15% additional march speed. Now over here you have three options. You have cavalry attack, you have normal attack, and then you have the ability to reduce the skill damage that you take from your enemy. Which one should you pick from here? The answer is pretty much straightforward. You go with the cavalry attack. The cavalry attack is going to affect your rage skill. It's going to affect your normal attack. Therefore, when you pick this one, you get the best of both worlds. This one is only going to boost your normal attack. However, this one will boost both your rage skill and your normal attack. 
Moving on, we're gonna come over here and grab the Intimidation. Your Legion deals 0.8% more hero skill damage. This is exactly what you're looking for. You're gonna have Bakshi primary, Emery secondary, the rage skill damage output is gonna be insane. And then in this node, you're gonna take the perfect Ferocity. Your Legions gain synergy when they enter battle, increasing their hero skill damage dealt by 15% for 10 seconds. Now this skills is going to help you when you fight long range units. In this game, Cavalry has a secret talent where they get 1000 rage before they even reach any long range unit. So this is going to be a very good talent to pick. Now you have the steady pace as well. I recommend you stay away from this one. It doesn't help that much. Now let's go to the right hand side and see the skills talent tree. What we're working with, we have the attack again, which is going to affect your rage skill and your normal attack. And then you have the rage skill intimidation. Again, you get another 0.8% more hero skill damage, which is excellent. And then from these two nodes, you're going to have to decide which one you want to go with. You can either take high spirits and get some rage from launching normal attacks. Or you can go with the last word, which is going to give you 0.8% more counter attack damage. In my opinion, I would take the last word for cavalry. Now cavalry have a very good counter attack in the game. Almost the same as the infantry. When you have the last word, you're going to be dealing a lot of damage back to all those enemies who hit you from afar. Now the high spirit is also pretty decent. I just don't like this talent because I don't see it activate quite often from the report. Therefore, you can go with last words. But if you like the high spirits, you can also take the high spirits. On to the next node, we have two excellent talents here. One is Boiling Blood and the other one is going to be the Spirit of Rage. I recommend you go with the Boiling Blood because every time you use this talent, Emrys is going to get 8% increase in Rage skill damage. Now, if you're fighting in the open field and you want to hit the enemy just once and then run away, this is the way to go. Now, with the Spirit of Rage, casting Rage skill grants you 20 additional Rage. So for your two heroes, you might get 40 rage, but I don't know if this is going to add up enough to give you another rage skill damage. For cavalry, sometimes you want to go in once and then get out, in and out. Therefore, the boiling blood is going to be the way to go. Moving on to the next node, we have three excellent skills over here. Which one should you go with? If you take the unquenchable will, your legion is going to mitigate 0.4% of the enemy's HP. Basically, minus 0.4%. If you upgrade it, it's going to be even more. Now, if you don't like Unquenchable Will, you can try the Detached. We need to talk about this talent right here. I think there is more than meets the eye with this talent. Now, it says your Legion deals 0.8% less normal attack damage, but 1.6% more hero skill damage. There is something secret about this Detached talent right here. For example, when you fight your enemies in the open field, you hit them with the normal attack. When you hit your enemy with the normal attack, you start to generate rage. This talent over here is reducing your normal attack. Therefore, is it not going to make you like get less rage with your normal attack? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Now this talent is going to give you a very good rage skill damage boost. You can also take it if you want, but I don't know about the rage regeneration. Especially when you reduce your normal attack, it could also reduce how much rage you generate. Keeping the pressure going with the Bakshi skills talent tree, over here we're gonna get the focus. When launching a normal attack, your legion has a 10% chance to gain hero skill focus, increasing their hero skill critical rate by 2% for 5 seconds. Fantastic talents! Next point, you're gonna take the Raging Tide. Your legions deal 0.3% more hero skill crit damage. Bakshi and Emrys are going to be celebrating. This is going to be great. When we come to the end, you have two options. You have Thirst for Blood and then you have Caged Animal. Which one is the best for Cavalry? Now the Thirst for Blood is going to be excellent for Cavalry because when casting a Rage Skill, your Legion deals additional Hero Skill damage to the target Legion. Damage Factor 60. Usually when you fight with your cavalry, you go in and you get out. You go in and you get out. This is going to be the best talent for you to pick. Now on the other hand, if you're rallying cities or you are rallying passes where you're going to be locked in the fight for a very long time, the caged animal is going to be the way to go. So this would be excellent for open field fights and then this would be excellent for rallying people's city. 
Now this is talent tree number one for the video. If you are a new player in the game, this is the talent tree that I recommend you try out. It's going to give you very good performance in the open field. <coughs> Talent tree number two, known as the skills two. This talent tree is pretty much the same as the previous one, except we took out this point here, the unquenchable will, and replaced it with the detached. Again, guys, I don't know how reducing your normal attack is going to affect your rage regeneration. Let me know down below, guys, if you know anything about this. This skill is going to give you a lot of rage skill damage, but I don't know how the reduction of your normal attack is going to affect your rage regeneration. If you guys have any information about this, feel free to comment it down below. Otherwise, this is an excellent talent to use for your Bakshi. Now let's see what's going to happen when you have this talent right here. You're going to have rage skill. You're going to have another rage skill amplification. You have rage skill damage over here. You get a rage skill damage here. You're gonna get this rage skill boost. You have more rage skill over here. You got rage skill. You got rage skill. Oh man, this is rage skill all over the place. Your enemies are not gonna like it. Talent tree number three, skills three, rage. This talent tree is going to be a slight variation from the previous two talent trees that we talked about. This time around, we decided to pick all the rage we can get from the talent tree. I know this is going to be so good for a lot of people who just like to use rage in the game. Let us see what is so good about this talent tree, how it's going to crush your enemies in the open field. Now, we swapped this rage from here and then we took the high spirits. Launching a normal attack has a 10% chance to grant your legion 10 rage. From here, we came to decide we have this rage skill. We decided to swap the last word with the high spirits to give you more rage. And then we went with the Spirit of Rage to give you more additional rage. This is a rage skill talent tree build. And then we decided to go with the detached again. I don't know what to do with this reduction in the normal attack damage. I don't know how that's going to affect your rage skill. This is an excellent talent to pick. Overall, everything is the same as we have talked about before. This is going to be another good talent tree for those who want to use a lot of rage in the open field. Talent tree number four, known as the full skills. With this talent tree, you put everything in the skills direction. I don't know how this is going to be in the open field, but you might want to try it out. It's going to give you a good mix of rage and counter attack and rage skill damage as well. Let us see some of the cool stuff about this talent tree and what makes it even excellent. You have damage, you have rage skill, you have counter attack, you have the high spirits for gaining some rage. And then from these two nodes, we decided to go with the spirit of rage. Since this is going to be a rage skill build from the skills tree, you're going to come here and grab the unquenchable will. If you don't like it, you can go with the detached. I don't know which one is going to be excellent for you. Now from here, we're going to grab the focus. We're going to get the raging tide. Your legion deal. 3% more hero skill crit damage. You take that to 5, I think you get 15%. And then we're going to put some points on here. Steady hands. When gaining a buff effect, your legion has a 20% chance to gain synergy. Increasing their hero skill damage dealt by 2% for 5 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 5 seconds. Every time you get a buff, you make use of this talent. And then we're going to go and grab Encouraging Dance. Being hit with a normal attack has a 10% chance to grant your Legion 10 Rage. So this talent tree is going to be good if you're fighting with someone for kind of like a very long time. Because when they hit you, you're going to get Rage. When you hit them, you're going to get Rage. When you use your Rage skill, you're going to get even more Rage. You have counter attack here to return a lot of damage back to the enemy. Now from here, it's debatable which talent you want to pick. You can take the Caged Animal. I mean, you can take the Thirst for Blood to get damage factor of 60, or you can go with the Caged Animal if you're going to be fighting for long. This is the Skills Talent Tree. Now, when you do this, you're going to have one point left. You can put it anywhere you want. We are finally done with the full Skills Talent Tree branch. It is time to check out the Cavalry Talent Tree branch. This is going to lead us to Talent Tree number 5 for the video. This one is going to be called Cavalry 1. 
With this talent tree, you can use it with the cool artifacts in the game, like the Wolf Woman of the Halo or the Storm Arrows. If you go in the cavalry direction, you're gonna need those artifacts to help you out in the open field. Now let us see what talent tree cavalry one is gonna be good for. Gonna zoom it down and see the points that we pick for this talent tree. Now from the right hand side, we have talked about it pretty much. You know, I like to value counter attack more than the high spirits for the cavalry troop type. And I also like boiling blood over the spirit of rage. This one is just going to take you Emrys to the next level. Now let's go back to the cavalry side of the talent tree and see what's going on. As usual, you get the speed, you get the attack for both normal attack and the rage skill. We're going to get more rage skill damage and then we're going to get the perfect ferocity. Now we're going to go deep into the cavalry talent tree and see what is going on. We're going to start off with this point right here, swift analysis. Your legion takes 0.8% less counter attack damage. The other alternative was reduce your defense by 0.3%. This is something you don't really want for your cavalry. The marksman counter tactics, this is just going to let you do more damage to marksman in the game. Therefore, we're going to be going with the swift analysis. From here, we're going to go up top and take the Guerrilla. Your legion takes 0.5% less damage while marching. This is even great. Basically, you charge towards the, those long range units, you hit them and then you run away. You can also take less damage while you get away. From here, we're going to come down here and grab the pitched battle. When your legion's unit count is below 50%, their attack is increased by 0.5%. And then in the last two nodes, I usually go for the blood mark. Your legion deals additional hero skill damage, physical damage factor 150 when casting rage skills. This effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds. Now it's a pretty decent talent. What's the other alternative? You have the inescapable. When your legion consists entirely of cavalry units, they slow enemy legions when intercepting them and inflict defense break, reducing their march speed by 30% and their defense by 5% for 3 seconds. This effect can be triggered once every 30 seconds. I personally, I don't like this talent. You get all of these good benefits just for 3 seconds. And sometimes when you target the enemy by the time you get to them, 3 seconds is done and this inescapable talent become a waste of time. Therefore, I think you better go with the blood mark. You get the 150 physical skill damage every 10 seconds, which is awesome. So this talent tree is gonna synchronize very well with the skills talent tree. You have rage skill damage from here, you have more rage skill over here. In the first 10 seconds of the match, you're gonna get 15% rage skill damage. This is just too perfect. Now this talent tree is gonna be great with artifacts like the Wolf Woman of Halo or even the Storm Arrow. You can use it for tactical fights if you want. Talent tree number six for the video is gonna be called Cavalry number two. This talent tree is unique in its own way. If you wanna destroy your enemies in the open field with some craziness, this is the talent tree to pick. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use this talent tree and make good use out of it. Zoom it down a little bit and then show you guys the point that we're gonna be working with. Well, we're gonna go all the way to the last nodes of the cavalry talent tree. Everything is pretty much the same as the previous talent tree. Now I'm gonna show you how this talent tree is gonna be excellent with tactical fights. This talent tree will be excellent in the open field when you're just going in and out, in and out, against those long range units. You take advantage of the cavalry rage regeneration when they fight long range units. So this is how it works. You're gonna take the quick escape. Your legion gains haste after ending battle, increasing their march speed by 4% for 10 seconds. You take this one to level five, you're gonna get 20% march speed for 10 seconds. So basically, you charge towards the enemy, you hit them with your rage skill, and then you run away. You get a plus 20% boost in your rage skill. I mean, you get a plus 20% boost in your march speed. Now you can decide to eliminate the march speed, maybe put like two or three points here and then put another two points here to get the gorilla. Your legion takes 0.5% less damage while marching. So you go towards the enemy, you hit them with your rage skill. You take advantage of these talents right here. You take advantage of the perfect ferocity. You take advantage of the boiling blood. 
you take advantage of the intimidation you just go in once and then you get out now while you're running out with the quick escape you're gonna take this talent point right here known as the triumphant return your legion receives healing healing factor 40 after ending battle now when you take this to level 5 i believe you're gonna get maybe 200 healing which is gonna be okay so you go in and out you go in you do a rage skill damage you come out with some healing and then at the end you're gonna grab the blood mark physical damage factor of 150 every 10 seconds you can recycle this talent with this talent tree and the tactical fights that you want to use this talent tree can work well with the wolf woman of halo artifact or the uh the storm arrow as well what do you guys think let me know down below in the comment section talent tree number seven also known as cavalry three now this is just a small variation of the cavalry one talent tree and we just made some changes in two places let us see where we made those changes now gonna zoom it down a little bit let's see zoom it down a little bit and show you where i make the change now like i said before you can go with either the counter attack or you can take the high spirit so this is where we made the change with this talent tree for the cavalry if you want to use it and then also you can go and grab the spirit of rage if you want but overall this talent tree is the same as cavalry one we just made changes in two places and we also changed the high spirits over here we removed intimidation and then decided to go with the high spirits you're gonna have to decide whether you want the rage or you want the rage skill damage it's gonna be up to you talent tree number eight is gonna be the peacekeeping talent tree this is something i don't recommend to a lot of people unless you're in a server that is just farming 24 7. now this talent tree is called peacekeeping rage you're gonna get some good stuff from the talent tree you get some good extra rewards I don't really need to talk more about this talent tree like I don't really recommend it. These are the points we picked from the peacekeeping side. You keep going up, you get this. You come over here, you grab the morale. And then at the end, you're going to take this skill right here known as the sun bather. When your legion attacks darkling and dark creatures, they are healed every time their commander casts a rage skill. Healing factor 300. Sounds like a very good talent to have. Now, if you don't want the Sun Bather, you can always go with the War Trophy. Your Legion gains extra item rewards after defeating Darklings and Dark Creatures. So this is talent tree number 8. And then we're going to go and check out talent tree number 9, which is also Peacekeeping, I believe. Let me push it towards number 9. Yep, this is talent tree number 9. Again, it looks like the previous one. Let me see if I made some changes. Okay, here we go. This is talent tree number nine, Bakshi Peacekeeping. Now you see it's almost the same as the previous one, except we decided to remove like the rage points and just went for the rage skill. So what am I really talking about here? Let me try and see what's going on. Bakshi Peacekeeping. Okay, so we got this point. We got this point. We got the rage from here. We got rid of this rage skill fighting spirit. We kept on pushing upwards in the middle direction, just grabbing attack, attack, attack. Went all the way to the end and got the sun bather. Again, I have pointed stuff here with arrows. If you want some extra rewards, you can go with the war trophy. It's going to be after you. I personally, I don't recommend the peacekeeping talent tree for this awesome hero. You can use your Bakshi for doing something different. And that's it for the talent tree for Bakshi. If you're still new in the game, you should go with the talent number one that I showed you in the video. I think it's called Skills 1. You can also try Skills 3 Rage, which is also pretty good. Pick one between those two if you don't know what to pick. Now, if you want a good Cavalry Talent Tree, you can try the Cavalry 1 as well if you don't know what to pick. So this is pretty much everything for the video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Bakshi is going to be in the gold key. Everybody can now unlock him. Thank you guys for watching. Until then, talk to you guys in the next video. Bye bye for now.